Everyone knows milk comes from a cow, but not everyone knows how milk goes from the cows to the store. It follows a multi-step process that includes rigorous testing to ensure the safety and nutritional quality of milk. Regardless of the type or size of farm, the first priority is safety of milk. Today we're going to talk about the journey of milk and the steps in place to ensure it's a safe and wholesome drink. Milk is the most highly regulated food you can buy in a grocery store. As a result, you'll rarely hear about pasteurized milk being involved in a foodborne illness in the United States. So what exactly goes into making this high quality safe milk? There are two types of dairy farms, conventional and organic. Both are focused on the health of their cows and follow the same rigorous testing procedures to ensure a safe milk supply. Milk marked with the USDA organic seal must meet specific criteria for what the cows are fed and how they are cared for, but extensive research shows that these differences have no impact on the health of the cow or the nutritional quality of the milk. Cows everywhere are fed a diet to keep them healthy and improve milk production. All farmers work hard to ensure their cows are well cared for, healthy, and well nourished. Nutritious diets, healthy living conditions, and good veterinary care are all essential when it comes to producing safe, wholesome, nutritious milk. If a cow is sick, the farmer along with a veterinarian decides how to make her better. This sometimes involves treating her with antibiotics. If a cow receives antibiotics, her milk is separated from the rest of the herd. When you think about it, this is similar to the antibiotic treatment our kids receive when they have strep throat. After a cow stops receiving antibiotics and is healthy, her milk is tested to ensure no antibiotics are present, and then the milk returns to the regular milk supply. Like us, cows have naturally occurring hormones in their body to help them grow and live healthy lives. Some farmers choose to give their cows an additional hormone to enhance milk production. But research shows these hormones have no impact on the health of the cow or the quality and safety of their milk. Healthy cows are milked several times each day due to the volume of milk they produce. It's very important that the cow is clean before milking, just like we make our kids wash their hands before eating. Once the cow is milked, the very next step is to quickly cool the milk. When milk comes out of the cow, it's initially the temperature of the cow's body, over 100 degrees. From there, the local processor transports the milk in an insulated milk tanker to the local milk plant. Milk from different farms is sometimes collected together in a tanker because a tanker holds a lot of milk. Every time the driver picks up milk from a farm, a sample of the milk is collected before the milk is loaded onto the tanker. This is very important, but I'll talk more about it in a moment. Upon arrival at the local processor, the milk is measured to make sure its temperature is still below 45 degrees. Because milk safety is our top priority, a series of quality tests are then run at the processing plant to see if there are excess bacteria or if there are drug residues from the use of antibiotics. If testing determines antibiotic residues are present, the processor discards the milk and then tests each individual farmer's milk sample to determine which farmer was at fault. That farmer is then responsible for payment of the entire tank of milk. Three important processes occur at the plant. Standardization creates whole, 2%, 1%, and skim milk we see in the store by adjusting the amount of milk fat in the milk. Homogenization prevents cream from separating from the milk. Vitamins A and D are added to the milk at this point. Pasteurization rapidly heats the milk to kill bacteria and then quickly cools it back so that no additional bacteria grow. Finally, the milk is ready for packaging and then sent along to the store or to a food production plant where cheese, yogurt, and other dairy products are produced. Milk, no matter where you buy it, is a local product. In the U.S., milk travels an average of 314 miles from farm to table. As you can see, milk takes a unique, short, and safe trip from the cow to the store. Along the way, there are numerous processes and protocols in place to ensure the quality and safety of milk. It really is the perfect trip for the perfect drink.